Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to day 14 of Great Morning Yoga. All right, coming to your easy seat, closing your eyes down, nice tall spine, but also relax your shoulders. Eyes can come to a close. Find a breath in through the nose and a sigh out. Relaxing the space between your brows, softening your eyelids, making sure that your jaw is relaxed, keeping some space between your teeth, softening your belly. If you feel like you're contracting your abs, go ahead and just release. Let your belly pooch out, it's fine. Take a moment to notice the space you're in. Maybe you're practicing by yourself or maybe you're practicing with a loved one. Begin to notice any sounds you hear. How is your breath? Is it rapid? Or or is it nice and slow? And while you are relaxing in this stillness, I have something I wanted to share. And it was something from another book. And the title is, Nobody's Thinking About You. Long ago, when I was in my insecure twenties, I met a clever, independent, creative, and powerful woman in her mid seventies who offered me a superb piece of life wisdom. She said, we all spend our twenties and thirties trying so hard to be perfect because we're so worried about what people will think of us. Then we get into our forties and fifties and we finally start to be free because we decide that we don't give a dang <laughs> what anyone thinks of us, but you won't be completely free until you reach your 60s and 70s when you finally realize this liberating truth. Nobody was ever thinking about you anyhow. They aren't, they weren't, they never were. People are most likely just thinking about themselves. People don't have time to worry about what you're doing or how well you're doing it because they're all caught up in their own dramas. People's attention may be drawn to you for a moment if you succeed or fail spectacularly and publicly, for instance, but that will soon enough come to a close. I really enjoy that little piece because <laughs> it is so very true if you think back to high school, <laughs> if you think back to, honestly, your 20s, we get so caught up in image sometimes, not everyone, but some of us, it's natural. Get caught up in image, get caught up in what people may be thinking of us. Sometimes we, we say that we don't care what anyone thinks, but our actions, even if subconsciously, prove otherwise. I'll admit in my 30s now, I am slowly but very surely starting to truly understand what that taste of freedom does feel like. I think it's just fully exhausting to try and please everyone or put on a show. It's just so much easier and lighter to be yourself to your fullest extent. So I just want to encourage you, wherever you are, whatever age you are, wherever you are in life, to be yourself to your fullest extent. It's so much easier, so much lighter, and it's a heck of a lot more fun. One more breath in and an exhale, release it out. You can flood your eyes open. Let's do our vinyasa. Alrighty, coming to standing. 
Inhale, arms all the way up. Palms come together, slight little back bend here, not too intense, deep breath in. And then exhale, dive it down literally. So round your spine, nice and slow. Dive it all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, bend into your knees, plant your hands, step back and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Go ahead and step your right foot through and then straighten through that front right leg, pressing the left heel forward so you're on the ball of your left foot. With your right fingertips on the mat, you can also keep a slight bend in your knee if you'd like. You can just open up to the side. You might be playing with your balance a little bit, maybe gazing down at your mat helps that out. And then left hand comes forward. Step the right foot back to your downward facing dog. Perfect, this time left foot steps forward, straighten through the front leg, press the right heel up and forward. Fingertips are on the left, or the left fingertips are on the mat. You can keep your gaze down if you'd like, open up to the right. And right arm sweeps forward. Step back to your downward facing dog. Lovely gaze forward and travel there. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. <coughs> Excuse me. Inhale all the way up to mountain pose. And then bend into your knees, coming into a chair pose. Palms come together. We're not looking to really ignite our thighs too much, so you don't have to sit super low here. Just bend into the knees gently. And then from here, we're going to try to hook our left elbow on the outer part of our thigh or our knee. Press your palms together and gaze over your right shoulder in a nice twist here. Make sure you're breathing. Deep breath in. Exhale, release it down. Perfect. Inhale back to that light, easy chair. Palms together. We're just here for the twist. Right elbow comes onto the outer left knee. Press your palms together and gaze over the left shoulder. Release. You can bend into opposite knees. Awesome. Go ahead and lower all the way down to your mat. Extend your left leg long and cross your right foot over the left. And now bring your arm on the outside of that left knee. Keep your arm nice and straight. And if you'd like, you can keep that right arm lifted. Or if you just want to relax, you can bring your right fingertips to the mat. You can use that left arm to push deeper and add a little extra twist. Just make sure you're breathing here and slowly release. Now, before you move your leg, we're gonna counter that. So right arm comes on that inner part and just a little twist. Perfect. Right leg straightens out. Left knee crosses over. Right arm stays straight and twist. Again, you can keep it open or you can keep those fingertips down on the mat. Gazes over the left shoulder. 
Make sure you're breathing. Slowly release, but just counter it here. Nice and easy. Awesome. You can come back to center. Soles of the feet come together. Hold on to your right above your ankles. I don't want to say hold on to your ankles, but you want to hold on right above your ankles. Elbows go into your knees and gently press down with your elbows, keeping your chest moving forward as though someone has a string and they're pulling you forward, not down. You want to keep your back straight so you can keep that lower back safe. Awesome. Close your knees together like a book. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then you can come all the way down to Shavasana. Your one minute Shavasana. You can stay here as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move on with your morning, we'll slowly come up to a seated position. Palms together to your forehead. A reminder of positive thoughts as you go on about your day today. Whatever it is, tell yourself you can do it. You are skilled, you are talented enough. You are trained enough, you are capable. Palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly to yourself, to your coworkers, to your spouse, to your friends. And then palms to your heart as a reminder that you are loved, but you are loved just as much as the next person is. You are loved by God just as much as your arch nemesis is, your worst enemy is. You are loved by him just as much as your kids are, just as much as your spouse is, just as much as the random person that you pass by and don't even know their name. So have grace with yourself and have grace with others. One more breath in and exhale, release it out. And flood your eyes open. God bless friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed today's class. If you would like to um, support me in additional ways, I'll leave my cash app and Venmo on the next screen. Anything and everything is appreciated. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for day 15. Right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye.